Are we live? Yeah, we're live. Hi, really? Yeah, see? You can see the pink, the fuchsia. We're totally live. Okay. Waiting on people to join in. Looks like All right, we did live. say that we would be a little out of it because we have been working on fall 21. Yes, we're and, tired. Uh, we're really tired. So uh, it's been a moving target what we were going to talk about today. And we just decided in the last few hours. And so what we're going to do today is um, we're going to take you guys through some of the, um, I, I, I wrote that I hate the word trends, I, because trend seems like it will come and it will go, but it's more like what's the mood that we're really feeling for and how do we translate that into different shapes and into different colors for spring. And one of the reasons why we want to um, talk about that right now is not because we're like, you know, hey, like you really should be buying this strappy, you know, skinny whatever dress, you know, when it's freezing out or not if you're in Australia, but you know what I mean? Like we're not trying to get you to buy things out of season. What we're trying to do is give you a glimpse into our head for what's coming down the pike. And I always find that once I sort of come into my mindset of what I'm in the mood for, whether it's, you know, the proportions, the colors, then if I'm buying things on sale for fall, it's really great because I can really go through fall with the filter in my head of what I'm going to want for the future. Mm -hmm. um, and then um, we want to tell you what you're going to want in the future. And we're going to start like feeding that into you because then by the time spring comes along, you're going to be like, I so get it. And they've articulated what I want. And now I understand why I'm drawn to all these different things. So um, Dion is going to talk first about what she has on. And what you'll see throughout today is one of the things that we really are in the mood for, we used it throughout the Fall 21 campaign that we've been working on, but it's the concept of leggings. And you guys have been inundating mine and Dion's uh, DM filled feed with just so many questions on what shoes to wear. And one of the reasons why is because obviously in the fall you have to wear a closed toe shoe, you're trying to figure it all out. And the good news is, is leggings really take you from fall into spring, but we've agreed that leggings are something that you kind of have to have permission to wear. You have to like know that it's back in because if not... Yes, exactly. Leggings need to be in context, you know. I think about all the instances where I have desired leggings, it's always been from like, you know, a Prada has told me that I want a legging right. or something like that. And I feel like also when you're thinking about leggings, if the rest of your outfit is sporty, then the leggings all of a sudden don't work. You're taking right. something elevated and bringing it down. A lot of our emails, we talk about top-down dressing, and especially in regards to the pandemic. So this will also help you with your work from home fits. And also being able to wear those elevated pieces that really work um, in your normal non-pandemic life, but you can wear them right now. So I'm actually wearing the Parker plaid blazer. So yes, another Liam, you're welcome. This is the Parker plaid. Um, it comes with that button over detail because this is the classic Liam and then this is the new updated Liam. That way you've got regular boxy menswear driven and then you also have slightly snatched. I like both. Um, I'm gonna wear it like this right now because this is what I would wear on a bodega run in Brooklyn. So I'm just wearing the featherweight cashmere sweater Back to my commando leggings. Thanks, guys. Um, I like the commando leggings because they don't suck you in. Yeah, they, they do. Actually, they're like space. They suck you in. I am, I am the type of person that I will literally wear a trouser to go do Pilates and then change clothes. So having something that is a little bit more fitted and like actually feels like shapewear almost, but it's also very clean, high waisted, and has no athletic logos or anything on it is really key. Um, also, I like having them higher waisted because if I did want to do a crop top when I'm having a less loaded day, it also works. So this is also the Felix boot. I would just wear these up, um, just like these and, oh, Collier. Felix is the old one. Yeah. Sorry. And this coat is the blazer, the lamb. It is a 12 mower for us. Yes. And if you're wondering how to wear it in July, it's over your shoulders with the slip dress. Yes. We love. And it's also just... It's just easy. So I'm wearing this as an underlayer. I highly recommend if you do have a featherweight cashmere. I've been wearing it underneath my blazers all week because it's freezing in New York, but it's perfect because I can layer up. I can wear a t-shirt under, take it off, and it's warm indoors. Cool. All right. So now I have Kreese, and Kreese is our 510 intern who was on last week, if y'all remember. She's back. Um, and if you were on my Insta this morning, you saw my little drawing of how 
this jumpsuit takes you all the way from fall into summer. It's a 12 mower jumpsuit to us. So you're wearing it right now with like the dorky loafer. We would love it with a boot underneath it. And let's, so let's take the jacket off. So you're, I mean the coat, the, I'm tired guys, I'm sorry. So this is our cardigan we have on sale right now. Mm -hmm. And now you have it with the stretch of corduroy turtleneck layered underneath. And the one thing I'll say is you're wearing a size four, but you are 5'10". So this is a good example where you could easily size up one yeah. and, um, and it would be a little bit longer and hang on you a little bit more and you would be totally fine yeah. sizing up. When something is meant to um, be quite loose and mechanic jumpsuit-ish, um, sizing up in this drapey fabric, it's just going to hang a little bit longer. And that's the key. Sometimes if the fabric has more of a sculpt to it, it's hard to size up because then all the sculpture is in the wrong places and you look strange. Um, so that looks great. And Toretta wears this too. If any of you guys follow Toretta, she looks incredible on her um, site in this as well. So thank you. Um, okay, so what I'm wearing is, this is the uh, leather that is getting ready to come out and it's got the pocket in the front and in the back. Um, and so, trends, right? So one of the things that we are really feeling for for spring is kind of a softer, dusty color. So that if you do have um, something that has blue tones, blush tones, green tones, it's like they've been mixed with uh, a little bit of gray and brown. So they have a they have a softer tone to them. They are not pastel, okay? So these are not icy colors. And what happens is when you get these dusty colors, what's really important to remember so that you feel like yourself is you need to wear them with things that are sharp, clean, and modern. So if I was wearing this dusty color, but if I had on, let's say like a pair of brown tweed pair of pants, I would look like, you know, like anthropology, like country, like, you know, just, you wouldn't look like yourself. You would not feel modern. And so the way to take this kind of color and feel modern with it is to make sure that you're always mixing it with something that is kind of crisp and very clean and very sharp. Okay? All right, so. Color is so nice. So I'm wearing two things that I've shown before, but I just wanted to show them in a different way because I've got so many people asking me about the gray sweatpants. So these are the gray sweatpants. These are in the regular length. These are about a size up from what I would normally take. This is the small. And then I'm wearing my Tropical Wool Cutout Blazer, which is our beautiful virgin wool blend from Fundamental. So it is a style that you will continue to see from us. And a lot of you know and love it. So showing how to dress this up is key because I know a lot of you who are writing me all the time and they're like, oh, I love the sweatpant, I think it's really chic, it's really elevated, but can I elevate the gray if I want both colors? And the answer is absolutely yes. So this is something that I would wear probably in more transitional weather. Definitely not right now, it's freezing in New York, but if you're somewhere where it's a mild temperature and you just need a light jacket, that's where you go for the like tights and the heel combo, because it makes it look a little bit more evening. And then I probably have a nice little piece of jewelry on with this, and this is, can definitely take me to dinner. Ooh, this yeah. looks great. Okay, so um, actually I'm going to bring out uh, Carice right now because we're wearing the same sweater and you can see what this same sweater, same size looks like on someone 5'10 and on someone 5'5, five five. okay? So Carice is wearing the new silver jogger. This is a cargo jogger. It is the same style as the um, crispy nylon. Guys, we use this with dead stock fabric that we had left over from last year. So that means we cut a tiny number of units. So if you want this, please DM one of the stylists to make sure that you get it. Um, it is not up on the site yet. I don't mean to sound like I'm like selling like Ginzu knives here or anything, but I do know that this one will be gone. So I just wanna make sure you get it so I don't get a bunch of hate DMs about it. Um, Cause it is really, like super, super, super good. Yeah. yeah, so good. And it looks great with the gray. I mean, she's killing it. And shoe-wise, like, because of the shine, absolutely you can wear this with a sneaker. 
You can dork it up with a loafer. You know that we love the loafers. You guys have the white loafers. You can wear it with that. And then she's going out at night in a sexy heel and probably sweating your ass off at the bar with that big sweater on. But you're not in bar anyways because you can't. You're in New York. <laughs> you're not allowed to go anywhere. <laughs> Thank you. Um, all right, so I'm wearing the same sweater, right? But I love the size small. So when I wear things just down like this, the one thing that I would do right now if I had the time is I would just, well, I do have the time. I've got lots of time, right? So I would just do one loop here so that it's nice and flat. And then I can just wear it down and be really casual. And we all know that one of the strange reasons why a sweater like this becomes a 12 mower is um, when you travel in the summertime, and we will be traveling, guys, like I promise we have to, like I'm going on a plane somewhere. But when you are, this is the perfect sweater for the plane, and it is the perfect sweater for a really chill night in wherever, whatever fabulous place you're in. Okay, and then remember though, if you don't want to wear it this high, which like, you know, the good thing is you don't have to commit, you do the rubber band trick, and I found this on Byron's desk. Is it, is it rubber band, right? Yeah. Okay, why is he, and if, whatever, that's a different story. No okay, idea. so <laughs> you've got the rubber band trick. All right, guys, and you can do this in the front or the back, but it gives you options, and options are really good. So um, for spring, same thing, one ton or none. I'm obviously wearing none. The thing here makes your textures and all these different shades give it um, a dynamic feeling and uh, depth, okay? All right. Okay, so I wanted to show you how to make the full suit evening as well. This is the tropical wool blazer that I was just wearing before, but now I have it paired back to the Stella wide leg pant. I'm gonna also show you with, with and without the belt. So this is a size four, this is a sample size. I'd probably take one size smaller, but I have it a little pinned up, but it just really elevated and nice. And then I wanna talk about what I'm wearing on top. So this is the Giselle knit open back top. So you guys remember Giselle. Giselle was a fabrication that we used in the one shoulder top that we sold really well of in spring of last year. That was, that, I mean, stunning. I bought both colors in the one shoulder top. You guys saw me in it a million times. If you've definitely been watching since episode one. So it has this really nice, I'm gonna come up nice and close so you can see it. Look at this beautiful ribbing detail here. It's got this nice U-shaped neckline. It has open back here, so it's nice and, she can elevate it to wear by it yourself, but you can also use this as a layer over certain things too. So I just wanna show you what the flap at the bottom looks like. So you have extra length in case you wanna try out one of our lower rise styles, like the jeans I wore last week and I'll also wear this week. But I like to take the flap and tuck it in because I do love a nice pleated trouser like this. So if I were just wearing, I'm wearing my white sandals and it's tight, but if I wanted to just wear strappy sandals and a nice earring, that also works. Um, and I'm also going to show again how the Stella looks with the belts off because I think it is so important. So, the Stella, you just, uh, these aren't tacked, so I can actually show you versus last week we had the ones that were tacked on. So, the Stella wide leg pant is that same trouser that we've been showing you season to season. And I just want to show you the versatility of this. It's a fundamental, but it really, it's just... I mean, it's such an elegant pant. Kind of, like, if you are wearing a nice statement earring, this is definitely dinner. Oh, can I, I want to say, too, um, last week a lot of you guys wrote, because um, we're sold out of a lot of the pant sizes and the fundamentals, but I want to say net a -Porte has it, and then The Fold has it as well. Uh, we'll put all these names up on the site uh, later on, but The Fold and net a -Porte both have the Stella pant. It, if NAP does not have it up yet, they will imminently, I promise, it just, you know. Yeah. Also, if people are having questions about this fit, this is actually the salesman sample. The production sample uh, is going to stay up. I actually was the one they fitted on. So this is a small, but it's not going to look exactly, it's not gonna be the exact fit that's here. The production sample is a little bit more of a, real, like an easier fit up top. So for those of you who are asking, but it does stay up. It, it does. It and does. I mean, like, you've got something going on up there, yeah. and I got nothing going on, and it's staying up. 
Yeah, because yeah. she fit it on both of us just yeah. to make sure that it doesn't roll over when you bend. Like if I bend, it's not going to pitch forward, things yeah, like that's that. Good. Yeah. That's a good thing. All right, so um, the browns will carry through to spring. This uh, is on our site already. It's been up for a little while. It's the um, tropical, no, I'm sorry, fine wool gauge turtleneck, and it's got the little hole in the back that if you've got some hair action going on, you can bring it through. But um, brown is really staying through. It's, it's going forward. We love brown still, so uh, brown is our friend. And that's why I like um, Carice here. You, what happens with brown, like this deep chocolate brown in the uh, alligator, faux alligator uh, loafers, the Morris loafer, is it really um, becomes like this great neutral that works with everything. And so the browns right now have definitely a sense of modernity to them. They are browns that are made for the city. Um, they, you know, they're not country mice browns. They're really, uh, you, sometimes you guys DM me and you're like, hey, I'm wearing the brown and I just don't feel like as modern as I want to. And usually, two things. Usually it's because it's what we call a more rustic brown. It's a little bit of a lighter shade of brown. But the key is when there's a lighter shade of brown and if the uh, sole is a uh, is raw, if it's a, a blonde wood or an untreated wood, that's when things feel too like, ugh, I don't know, it just, it feels too contemporary. And you guys, like, you know what I'm talking about because you write me and obviously you're bothered by it. So um, really look out, like when you are buying a brown shoe, check out to see what the sole is because if, it, the, if the upper is not really modern, if the upper is classic and it's got that kind of unbleached, uh, untreated sole, you're going to feel a little too average in it. Uh, it also is a good way to take down the silver pants. It's that kind of unexpected moment. Uh, again, you guys have been writing about how do I be CP when I'm you know, in hot weather or through the spring. It seems like maybe being a creative pragmatist is easiest in the winter time. And that's definitely not true because being a uh, creative pragmatist is not just about layering, it's certainly not just about jackets. It's about wearing things that have friction to them and that they're um, just a little bit off. And so going forward for spring and onward, we are still in love with a strong shoulder and a shoulder pad. And you know, like, will it last forever? I mean, I'm sure in the late 80s, someone was like, hey, it's gonna last forever. And then look, it didn't. But I think that the idea though, right now for sure, is that when you are gravitating towards things that have um, a classic feeling to them, things that have something that allow you to remember and connect with the past, which I would say that has been one of the things with COVID that has seemed um, to have really taken root is that a little bit of nostalgia there, right? So you have nostalgia for like, the kind of, uh, you know, that great, like, just white t-shirt that you would see on, you know, I don't know, what's his name, who starred in Stella, a streetcar named Desire, what's his name, anyways, you know, the Godfather. Um, so if you have nostalgia for that, there's, like, doing things literally, and then there's making things at water, and that's what the shoulder pad does. So the shoulder pads are definitely a key Okay, thank you. Um, Okay, so dusty tones always have to be with something fresh and then high functionality. And I think that that is where when we were saying that we are in the mood for leggings, that desire for things to have permanent, like for real, like you've got to be able to wear your clothes over and over and over again. And if you can't, like, I don't even want to hear about it. Um, so, all right, that looks great down. So, we're, picking, we're piggybacking onto what we were talking about with customizable bibs and everything like that. I'll show you what I'm wearing underneath so you can understand what it is that I'm wearing on top. So I'm just wearing our Easy Silk Camisole and I'm wearing our Eco Poplin bib. So this comes with two little ruffle details here on both sides and then you actually have buttons and then you have this button attachment that can actually be removed if you want to just wear it like this, just down, you have a lot of ways to wear this. This is why we really wanted it to be super comfortable. 
You can wear it here. You can actually wear it across the body, which I also love. I'm obsessed with this, like it's super chic. You can also wear it across the body like this, underneath the blazer. And then if you use that attachment here, wrap it around and you have it just like I wore it before. And what's really nice about this is that if I wanted to throw a blazer on top of this look, it's really chic and elegant and really looks nice on top or underneath the blazer, which is great. And then there's a pocket too, isn't there? Um, I think the pocket's on the other one. Oh, we have another one too that's coming. Or it's right here, Sight. Oh, actually, and that's what's really fun about it. You know how we like our hidden details? There's a pocket. So how chic is this? So this is the Eco Poplin. So it's our eco-friendly organic wash cotton poplin. It's the one we have season to season. And it's really, really nice because it's great for travel as it you can throw it in your luggage and it doesn't crease as much as regular 100% cotton you poplin. Turn around. Oh. Like here, just just turn around. So one of the big trends for spring that we love is all the asymmetry, okay? So this is when, when you're trying on things in your closet and you turn around and you're like, oh man, I wish I had the perfect top to go under it. This is a perfect top. And yeah. a regular t-shirt would have been the perfect top. Mm -hmm. But all of this cutout that that's creating, it's creating interesting shapes. Even on the side too, like all of this, which is kind of like a tie into things to come. And you guys, like, you know that being a creative pragmatist um, I had put that quote up that I had poached from that, the cheap, cheap to Italian style. But that thing about, you know, really you're not looking for the courage to walk into a room and be saying, you know, I really, I feel so good about myself. I know everyone's going to love the way I look. Being a creative pragmatist is walking into a room and thinking, I don't care if anyone loves the way I look because I love the way I look. Okay. And so when you have this like throw on, but you just like, oh, do I look this chic? I have no idea. Like that's the effect that you're giving. It is truly effortless dressing. So when we talk about how to be a creative pragmatist in the summertime, effortless does not mean that I threw on a big cashmere sweater with a wide leg pant. That's not effortless. Effortless is I threw it on, I made it work in my closet. I don't look like I just studied too hard. It's effortless. Also, the silk camisole is actually on the online outlet in Jersey, and it's the perfect travel, lightweight, beachy top, but it also works well with an underpinning for suiting. I'm actually going to throw a blazer on with this look so you can see what it looks like with it. Um, okay, so I want to show you guys, too, the notion of a t-shirt. So, you know, I've had the leather skirt now, and I've worn it with a big sweater, obviously, and... We all know that I could wear it with something fancy. We even did a little matching leather bustier with this. And now it's with the t-shirt. And I do love a t-shirt. And if you guys know on my Instagram, I am always wearing a t-shirt with a suit. I am wearing it with something that is the polar opposite of the t-shirt. If I was wearing it with a track pant and sneakers, that is not interesting to me. So um, grab your t-shirts, make them work but mix them up or don't, and I don't want to hear about it, but this is the way to me to feel modern. So, <laughs> so good. another Liam is coming. This is in brown. This is the Cassius suiting. You know how much I love brown as a color, especially if you do have a lot of great basics in your wardrobe in black, gray, and navy, and ivory. Brown is a nice, fresh pop if you don't have that in your wardrobe. Also, if you're one of those girls who loves to do a lot of color blocking, but all of a sudden you're craving something a little more neutral that still works, especially if you like things on the primary color spectrum or the neon color spectrum, brown is your friend. Because primary colors in black, it's usually a full, it's like a look if you're gonna do that, but for in, in general, this is a nice way to subdue extremely bright hues and colors. So this is the Cassius suiting. It also comes in another egg blue colorway, which Amy's actually gonna throw on later, but about this little top that I was talking about earlier, look what it does here underneath the blazer. It's so chic. I'm also gonna show you what it looks like that other way on top of the blazer because I absolutely love it. And what's great about this is this is kind of that piece for the girl who has everything, you know? Because if you have all of your woofs, 
adding a piece like this is already going to breathe new life into your wardrobe. So when you do it across like this, again, you remove the attachment and you cross it over like this and then you just fasten it. Our design team is so smart. Love them. Look at that. So chic. I'm twisted, but here we go. Yes. All right. Just gives a completely different look. If I had a gold earring right now and the slouchy pants and like a strappy shoe, I could go to an event. Just your sleeves, all that good stuff. It's just so interesting how you can just take this one piece and take all of those things you already have in your closet and just keep going with it. Okay. This, looks so, this color looks so okay. nice, Amy. Right. So um, this is a uh, cotton twill dress. And what we love about a dress is, you know, the dress that is really uh, the dress that you're wearing because you want to wear a dress. It's not because you're going out for evening time. It's just because you are actually just doing something kind of relaxed and chill, but you're in the mood to do a dress while wearing it. So I will say that going forward, for whatever reason, we are craving to wear a dress or a skirt. It just... Um, it feels good, but the key is, is it has to be as chill and eased out as we um, are expecting things to be. And I don't think that, you know, when people are talking about like, oh, this sweatsuit, work from home, like overly, you know, athleisure type trends going on. Um, I don't, I'm like, whatever about that. I, for me, like, I love clothing. I love feeling modern and how, um, thinking about dressing makes you feel the way that you feel inside. It just kind of like affirms it. So um, we love getting dressed, but we all are very relaxed and that's a real thing. And so having clothing that feels effortless, it feels as throw on as some, you know, athleisure thing. That's like the holy grail for us. So. This color is something that had come out um, about a month ago on our site. It is kind of this, um, again, it's the greens that have that little bit of gray in it. This is a two-piece item. This goes underneath. So I'm going to show you guys what it looks like bare. You know, we talked about necklines, go big or go home. Um, but this neckline allows you, with this removable piece, lets you be a little more transitional. I am wearing this with the Lars boots, and guys, we are getting uh, more of the Lars boots in any day now. They are coming from Italy. Um, way back, I had styled it with the dark red Lars boot, and we're not getting more of those, but I do love it. There's a size 35 at Essence.com, and um, it's on sale at Essence in the red, and the, it's a really deep, blood dark red, so it looks really, really beautiful with the mint greens. So color-wise, again, this these shades of green, things that seem a little bit like born from the earth, feel really, really rich, but keep it modern. And so, of course, wearing it with a boot that has this shine to it feels super modern, right? And we love the Lars. Trend-wise, we are continuing with this through Fall 21. It is not going anywhere. It has turned out to be really, really functional, this square toe in the faux leather, so it makes it a really friendly price. And then this heel that doesn't go through any grates. Um, and it's a height that like subway friendly and you know, whatever. So it's not going anywhere fast. Okay. And more green from Dion. More green. So this is our tube yarn sweater, which is our 100% cotton sweater that comes in black and in green. And I'm actually wearing it tucked in with a very similar brown to that Liam jacket that you were just seeing. I like to wear my sweaters tucked in because it makes it a little high and dorky, especially since I'm wearing my kind of dorky dad loafers. These are the Croc Morris leather loafer. I don't know if you can see that that well, so I'm going to bring it up close. It's in a brown Croc. This is coming with your spring delivery. I absolutely love these because I wear a lot of, um, I wear a lot of black already. So having the brown gives me that pop, just like I was talking about before with having the nice pop of brown with the Liam coat. Um, a couple of different things about this pant. This is that same Stella pant. 
same silhouette that you saw in the tropical wool, but it's just in this beautiful Jensen gabardine fabric. I will say this pair of pants is our SMS sample, so it is gonna hit a little bit longer. Um, and this is a double belt detail here. So you can wear it paper bag, high and dorky like I'm doing now, or you can wear it lower on the waist, which I'll actually show you what that does if I wear it a little bit lower. I'm not gonna take it off entirely, but I'm just gonna slide it down. That's what it looks like if you're wearing it a little bit lower. So you have endless versatility here. And again, back to this kind of grayish brown, it really does take color really nicely. Uh, all right, guys, I'm, I'm showing you here how low the v-neck is. Now, I, I grabbed this bra out of our sample closet, so ignore, okay? So for me, going the full plunge, this is where, uh, especially like on vacation, I love to wear uh, bathing suits as tops. So um, at home, perfectly, I have this great uh, Malia Mills dark green bandeau bathing suit top. So this is where, you know, have fun. Like if you've got a good bathing suit or a good colored bra in your closet, that is the perfect thing to wear. So I always like to find the good dress for vacation when you are doing the city vacation. Let's pretend like we're in Montreal or whatever and it's June. So like for a good city vacation, what I love about a dress like this is you know, walking around during the day, you can really just hike up the sleeves. And then if you're going into places like a church or, you know, wherever that would require coverage, uh, if you're visiting the Vatican or something, you got your sleeve coverage. I'm, I guess maybe the Vatican will appreciate that you've got this plunging neckline, but you know, whatever, that's a different story. Uh, but it's a good option. Now, if I were going out at night on vacation, um, that is where, of course, when I'm traveling, I would have my trusty Liam. And in spring, we have it in this colorway. So if you look at the spring runway show, and by runway, I mean when we painted my house orange and we shot it in my backyard and I cooked for everyone. But if you look at those pictures, we showed the Liam here with um, a lot of beautiful cotton poplin dresses, and they're great. But what I'm showing you is, is if you got this one that is on the site now, you can make that work too, because it's all about these shades. When we love something, when we feel something is not a trend, but really something like is visceral, it's not a surprise you see us uh, digging even deeper into um, something and exploring further within the season, right? I'm not gonna tell you it's about these greens and then for winter be like, psych, it's all fuchsia. So anyways. Um, but if I were going um, out at night, I would wear this heel in this tan colorway. I don't have the sample yet, but for spring, we are doing this in tan. And I know Dion had it on in white. This is in black. You guys have been seeing this for a while. We did produce it for spring. Yay. So it'll be here soon. But I would wear it in the tan. I think the black is a little aggressive for my pretend vacation dinner that I am on right now. So those same metallic joggers that she was wearing, I wanted to show you with the Liam coat too, to really show you how you can really make the metallic look fresh and interesting every time. I feel like everyone's default is going to be trying on black or white, but you can definitely play around with wearing a little bit of brown and a little bit gray underneath, like making the silver really the pop here, even though it's not a color, it's all about the shine. And also wearing it back to the Morris loafers makes it a little bit less over the top for daytime. Um, so someone asked about the heel that Amy was talking about. It's actually, the heel strap does stay up securely. We just have samples that we've been wearing for ages. Sometimes models feed her a size 12, trying to fit into a 10. So the strap is definitely very, you know, it's, it's been used a lot. That's an SMS sample. The production sample is gonna be a tighter fit on that ankle strap. So once we get those in, I'll be able to put those on for life so you can see that they do stay up. Also, don't, don't use my foot as a judge because I do have the world's most narrow foot. I had to put insoles in everything. Just to clear that up, just because I know that's probably something you've seen me adjusting mine. It's just we have worn those to death over the past year. Um, and then back to these nylon joggers, I just, I think people need to realize that the metallic really is, it kind of your replacement jewelry. I feel like 
this is a lot already and just pairing it back to neutrals really works but i'm actually going to show you what it looks like with the colors let me grab my sweater very nicely with that too. So if I wanted to wear this sweater underneath my jacket, look how chic those colors look. And the reason why is because that so brown, chic. isn't that cute? So that chic. brown really subdues this see, color. Wait, see all these greens are good? I mean, yeah. This looks so good on me, this color. I love this. It's so nice, okay. It's like Liam Twins over here. This is great with the leggings all too. Right, so. <laughs> Um, all right, so I have on the um, great, great, great leggings from Commando. We love them. Um, all right, so I'm wearing this with, um, I just want to show you guys. This is the navy blue stretch cord turtleneck from, looking over at Dion, uh, stretch cord turtleneck from Fall. And it is a really, really great layering piece. Um, I have, it's really great, I have an October birthday, and but I grew up on an island off the coast of Georgia, and so what it meant was that, and I was like so stupidly preppy, it's horrible, and so it meant that like for every birthday I would always want like all these Shetland wool sweaters, and everyone knew when it was October 29th because I would show up at school like sweating my ass off in some brand new Shetland sweater and like corduroy pants or something. Um, so I kind of swore like two things. I was never going to be dressed inappropriately for the weather again. And after living in Hong Kong with a size 40 foot, I swore that I would never wear the wrong shoe size again because I always had to buy a 39, except for when Sarah Rudson worked at Lane Crawford and she had a 40 foot too. So anyways, longer story. So it swore that I would never wear the wrong size and I would never be dressed out of context for the season and either sweat or freeze my ass off. So when you love something like this Liam, you make it a 12 mower and you do that by layering it over something like this. Now, trend wise, you know, um, to so many people's chagrin, right? There was this whole like, I'm gonna wear a big coat and then I'm gonna wear like big gigantic pants. I'm just gonna like be swallowed. And, uh, and a lot of people don't like being swallowed. And regardless of what people like or don't like, Feeling-wise, what we are feeling for is, you know, when we talk about proportions and that mixture of big, slim skin giving you balance, um, this this more this silhouette that is a little more narrow to the body. Last spring, we had um, some of those great sweaters that had the cutout details more narrow to the body but mixed with something quite oversized and familiar because we all know, like, if I walked out in this and then a shrunken little tight jacket, you'd be like, what the fuck alive is this? Like, who did I just tune into? But when you wear something extremely familiar with something that feels new, then you feel like yourself, and that is how you bring newness into your closet by having your woofs, and then you try out these in and outs. You know, like leggings, they'll probably be out in a few years, but right now we'll just wear them like crazy. Okay. So speaking of newness, we have a lot of crop jackets coming down the pipe. This is the crosshatch suiting. It's one of our more luxurious suiting qualities that is ultra cropped and then has that really fun invisible pocket hanging down here, nice sleek lapel, and then it's got your custom signature tibby metal ring detail, you know, the one we always love. So I'm wearing it back to my featherweight cashmere turtleneck. I'm wearing a size small or four. This is a sample. These pieces are not in yet, so everything we're wearing right now is a sample. Actually, this one might be a production. Yeah, this is a sample. So, just got this really nice chic button, and I'm wearing it with our brand new shape of denim. So, this is our just really beautiful curved denim. You've seen this curved pant shape before, but this is by far our newest, cleanest silhouette that just curves down like this. And that way you see the little gap here. We want you to be able to see that. As far as a low rise trend goes, if you are looking for a low rise jean, make sure it has a nice give in the leg. You don't really want to look like the girls who bullied me in middle school. You want to look a little bit more relaxed and modernized because I think for most people, early 2000s is not a fashion that we want to relive. 
but the low rise does make sense, especially after wearing so much high rise. I don't know about you guys, but I've owned so many mom jeans over the years, and having a lower fit with the relaxed leg with the curve feels so modern and new against things that I've already had. I tried this on with a lot of my old blazers and some old shoe silhouettes, and it really did update everything in a nice way. It did, and especially like one of the big new things with the cropped blazer is, you know, last year, years before, it would have been like the crop top, and then you wear the super high waist with it. And that's nice, like it's a thing, like I would wear this together, it's a thing. Mm -hmm. But this feels new. It feels really, really new. So when you get deeper into this uh, discussion around style, you know, some of you guys have started here and some of you guys are way over here now, I can tell by the pictures that you're sending us. So when you get deeper into this, you're gonna be in that point when people are like, how do you know what's on trend or whatever? And you know, cause you know, it's not cause you studied it, but you know that when you put it on in your closet, you're like, damn, this, yeah. this proportion feels new. I haven't worn it in a long time, I love it. When you are trying things, definitely go to the back of your closet to those things to see if it revives things that you already have. Yeah. Because you'd be surprised at what newness does. And, I mean, I love this jacket too, but I've also put a pair of scissors to a vintage blazer. And yeah, that, yeah, you that can. works, guys. Like, that works. Go for it. Why not? I need to start doing that. I'm like always scared to DIY. This one's scissor happy. No, though. man, an old, old men's vintage. Like, cool. Um, okay, so I'm showing you guys the legging here again for being able to buy now, wear now. So, this skirt is coming up onto the site for uh, uh, like reservation. I don't know what we're calling it, pre reserve, whatever, tomorrow. Um, but if I were wearing it, having the legging on underneath, it keeps me warm, right? So, like, I need to be warm. It's warm enough for a turtleneck. But when you guys ask about a shoe, when you wear the legging, it allows you to wear a shoe that is a little bit more open earlier on in the season, okay? And so you're getting a sneak peek at this shoe. This is actually from the new uh, fall collection that we haven't shown you guys yet. It's got these double buckles. I'm kind of wondering if I should bring it out earlier because all of a sudden, like clearly it's solving a problem. And, um, and it's been a while since I figured out like what the perfect closed toe shoe is. And I kind of feel like this is it. And it's one that like, I don't want too much adornment. This double buckle thing seems to work. Although it's kind of pinching me there. So I need to fix that, but anyways. If you guys think it's really good, let me know. But it kind of works with the whole legging thing. We loved it when we styled out fall. So again, the blue uh, corduroy turtleneck, this is um, on sale on the line right now. It's really good. It's really perfect. I'm wearing a size small in it. And even though I'm totally flat chested, like I could have some things going on in here and it would be fine. It would fit. Um, so it's all really good and we love black and navy together and we always will, that's not a trend. It just is our way of doing things because the creative pragmatic way of doing things is making it work. And if we all had to worry about whether or not our navies or our blacks match, then we would lose our shit and not be able to worry about things in life that really count. Um, okay, so layerability, things that are 12 mowers, those are not trends, they are things that will always exist with us throughout the year, always, always, always. Um, and then you'll see going forward that asymmetry is really, really important as a trend. And it's one of those two, again, for um, some of my more aspirational followers and some of my more emboldened followers, you can make a top aspirational by just messing around with it. Um, ah. So good. Okay, so another new piece that we have, I've actually shown you a preview of this back in fall over our Edwardian dress in the check, the cycle check that we have. This is the leather bustier. So this comes in black and it also comes in a nice butter um, leather, just like the skirt that Amy was wearing earlier, back to the beautiful pastel sweater. So this actually just has like a really nice big zipper and it's got a nice point up top for all of you who have a larger chest. It is very secure. The tech design team did a really good job of keeping this thing on. 
it's been great. I haven't had to really adjust it, but what's great about it is they fit it to where it stays on. But if you wanted to layer this over a sweater, it also works. So on the back, it's got like a nice, just elastic give here too. That way you can layer, but you're not going to lose the shape. But you know, for us CPs, we absolutely love to throw a blazer on top and our beautiful crispy nylon high paperback joggers. This is probably how I would wear it if I, if it was, you know, drinks with the girlfriends or something back in normal leg. I'd probably do a close toe kitten heel or the leather loafer in the Morris. And you can zip these up or down depending on what your mood is and how you want them to sit on your leg. And then here's another variation on the theme. Yeah. Amy is wearing that so, same Giselle Bustier I was wearing earlier. Yeah, back so I've got a little bra action going on underneath. Um, oh, I just hit my soldier foot. Tag. Yeah. With the, oh. like, this is good, but it can hurt you if you fling your jacket on too fast. Mm -hmm. um, but again, when you wear these dusty colors, dusty, dusty, sharp black, sharp white, sharp white, sharp black. So really uh, mix it in with a level of sharpness. One of the things too, when you guys do get the joggers on, um, Dion is a good like size smaller than I am. So for me, wearing the size, are these size or are they SML? These are, this is S, SML. S, okay, so they're SML. So when they come in, one of the things I really encourage you guys to do, of course you're supposed to really fiddle around in your um, closet and you're not supposed to just like stick your leg through something and then be like, this doesn't fit. So remember, uh, Dion was showing you zipped up and not. I have wider calves than Dion. My ankles are wider. So every time on me when this pants zipped up, it kind of lifts everything up and I don't feel as great in it as I want to. But when it's like this, it's actually creating this asymmetry look here and I just feel much better in it. So again, you know, take the clothing, move this slit around to the top and it just like does something great. And remember this is a size small that I'm wearing and clearly three other children could be in here with me and we'd all be fine, but this is how we like it. Go big or go home, it kinda can slide off. It's very chill, I roll up my sleeves. When you, um, if you get this and you're like, oh, I need to size down and that's gonna make all the difference in the world, it's not gonna make that much difference. It's so. really not, so don't get <laughs> your hopes up if you size down in it. Yeah, it's, it's meant still to be. gonna hang like this. It's meant to be a Also, how did you do that? Oh, it has the button over. This but, is not. But did we add it? I think we added no. it. No. Did we add it? No, it was definitely on this, unless someone borrowed it and took it off. That's an SMS. I think someone took that button off. A, a fee. Who's in trouble? <laughs> uh, but yeah, they so definitely had yeah. this. So the new Liam yeah. always has the button over, so you yeah, can have it. Sure. Classic, grandpa, or a little bit more snatched. I do want to see what this looks like on you and vice versa. Okay. Just so oh, it's some color. So. Yeah. Here we go. Great. Oh, okay, you're wearing production. That's good. Yeah, I'm wearing production. She's wearing the SMS sample. So this is going to be the exact fit that we're going yes. to come. And so guys, this is a really good time to talk about CMC, Chill Modern Classic. And sometimes you guys send me things and you're like, look, I've got on chill and then modern and then classic. These things do not exist in vacuums, all right? So the jacket is a very classic color and it's a blazer, right? But it's massively oversized. So the color and the blazer make it classic. The oversize makes it modern for sure. And then of course, like how could this be anything but chill? Same with this sweater. It's chill because it's a sweater, but it's modern because it's got like this like retention in it. And it's like really strong and cool and sculptural looking. And then it's quite classic. It's white, it's ribbed, like, you know, so this is chill modern classic. This is chill modern classic. And this is, like, it's classic because it's a jogger, but it's modern because it's super high waisted. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, it's like freaking chill. So it's kind of like everything on your body can be CMC. And then I'm wearing oh, yeah, just a little thong sandal. This is coming out. I think like in April or May. So April, like, May. don't wear this out of season. So, you know, when you're thinking about like things to buy now, we're shipping things much more in line with when they make sense. We used to, like when we would make a sandal like this before, we would ship it in February. February yeah. Which hell is walking around in a thong sandal in February. Don't even try and wear a sock with it. 
And if you did the tabby sock, you would probably just look stupid. But there's always that one guy on the subway who's wearing shorts and flip flops a second. It's like is he good? Degrees. No, oh. he's not cheap. He's wearing shorts and flip flops and a Patagonia coat, and I have no idea where he's going. But maybe, maybe he's like a swim. Team. Maybe he's coming from the gym. Pack, pack real shoes. I don't know. Like that guy confuses me. But he's on every subway line. I don't know. Um, <laughs> so you guys, we motored through a lot of looks today, and um, oh. I'm gonna leave it on this because we're not gonna yap forever because um, we're so freaking this tired. I did have a question about this fabric though. Oh, this yeah. fabric? Okay, this is um, this is not our typical tropical. It's not wool. tropical wool. It's not tropical yeah. wool. Um, it just ha it's it's got a little more um, weight to it than the tropical wool, and it's still um, to me it's still a 12 mower the way yeah. that uh, the tropical wool is. But this has more weight to it. Um, it's, yeah, it's more of a skinny. It's an yeah. Italian. It's still an Italian blend, but it's yeah. still, and it does have virgin wool. Yeah. But it has what's the other thing. If the tropical wool gets a little limper than this, yeah. this has more body to it. So, anyways, that's what it is. Um, so the other thing that I want to tell you is, if you guys go to my Instagram feed um, and on Tibby, you will see that we gave a sneak peek to the fall collection, and. It just clearly like made people lose their shit. They were so excited about what we showed from a styling perspective of um, how we created clamps for our scarves to wear them on the back of our necks. So for some reason, this has been a very heavy topic of conversation for me guys for the last nine months is please can you show me how to make a scarf look cool? And I know I was always writing back and saying, no, I cannot show you because no, I cannot make a scarf look cool. At least not for someone my age, but for Dion, like I, for me, I just felt like that in it. Um, for you, I think you could rock it. And we showed how rainy one time, like wore, and everyone was yeah, like, yeah, and silver too. Oh my God, she looks amazing. But so, no matter who you are now, when you clamp your scarf on the back of your coat and you're just standing there and you've got this scarf tail, or you can bring it to the front and it's just like this tail, it's really cool. Um, so I'm just letting you know that when we show them for fall, um, to give you some like little sneak peek hints, the scarves are all upcycled. We're not going out and making printed scarves. We are upcycling them. They're going to be really cool and we'll probably do fun events where you guys can bring in an old scarf and we can upcycle it for you. Um, the other thing that you might have seen on my Instagram was there's a navy sweater and a dark pair of pants and then this incredible earring. And Hannah has made the most insane jewelry. Um, and we used it. It's so sick. It's so, it's so sick. Very excited for um, the flip on version. Yeah, so we're going to be um, showing her jewelry in the collection and then we will be selling it in the store. It will all be handmade and amazing and it will be handmade by Hannah's hands. Like I was like Hannah, she's like gonna start now. Um, but she was she's like I don't trust anyone. It's my my baby and so fun. It's her baby and that's great, right? Because we don't like lots of stuff being out there. And if I told you that it came off of an assembly line, you'd be like, nah, maybe not so much. But Hannah making it, that's a different story. So going forward, like we talked about spring trends and now talking about fall it is still about looking freaking cool and wearing your clothes, less being way more. Things slow fashion, things taking time. Um, these are not going to change. These are not COVID fads. Uh, we did not talk about Zoom calls or anything like no. that. It just is what it is. We don't, we don't do Zoom that often, you and I. We don't Zoom. So. I'm fatigued I mean, from that. Yeah. 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 Anyways. All right, guys, thank you so much. Uh, DM us if you have questions, because I know that you will, and I don't even have to say that. And um, I hope you liked your like trend, sneak peek, whatever you want to call And definitely um, don't forget about the wish list online. But Is that also, what it's called, the wish list? It's called the wish list. Yeah, there's a wish list feature, but there's also, um, we will have some styles that will be on the website that you can um, 
get emailed if, when it does come in. If you love anything that you see on here, you'll start seeing some of those things trickle onto the website soon. Yeah. Um, but for the silver pants, DM a stylist because yeah, otherwise there's no way you can on it. Yeah, there's no way. The second it goes live, they will be gone. Yeah. Um, I posted last week on um, my own personal stories about that metallic nylon pant yeah. with the cargo pocket and a size six. It was gone in like five minutes. So it's good. Yeah, it's good. very excited, guys. All right, guys. We are. Um, I wish I could say we're going to take a nap, but we're not. We're no, we're going back to do fall. A few, like several know. more hours of work. Fall twenty one. Thank you. Bye. 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 Just, yeah. That was so good. It was good. Okay. It it looked really good, and people commented on the backdrop.